RCMP inspector Ron Jackson keeps one of the largest photo collections in the world. It's Canada's national mugshot file. He hasn't made an exact count, but he thinks his file drawers hold more than a million and a half pictures. Have you actually counted them up? <laughs> well, we, we've taken a, a, a sample of, uh, of the records, and it looks as though about 70% of the files have a, a photograph uh, uh, related to them. I can imagine a million and a half, two million pictures someday. You, do you ever think that you're going to run out of space there with all those uh, pictures and file cabinets? Well, exactly uh, the problem. And uh, back in 1983, we decided that uh, we had to find some kind of a system that would allow us to, to get away from the old uh, file cabinets, the file drawers, and we came up with the, with the optical memory disk technology. And this is the, this is the optical memory disk, and it allows us to store 24,000 photographs on that one disk. So really, uh, if with, about, um, with about 100 of these disks, we could store the entire 2 million, uh, uh, an amount of 2 million photographs on the, on the system. So now, at RCMP headquarters in Ottawa, every one of the mugshots is being converted into a TV picture and stored on a disc. It's still an experiment, but so far they've transferred about half a million pictures. The potential is tremendous. Today, local police forces have relatively small mugshot files, ones that cover their own area. For anyone else's picture, they have to contact Ottawa. Then, someone has to find the photograph and transmit a copy back using a facsimile machine. Saskatoon RCMP Ottawa here. We have a photo for you be f to be faxed. You ready to go, Data? The copy isn't always the best quality, and worse, the process is just too slow. Obviously, the sooner he can have a witness view possible suspects, the better it is, because people forget, uh, their imaginations take over, and that sort of thing. With the new system, every police force could have its own copy of the national collection. I wonder if I could get a copy of the last one on the list, please. The retrieval is almost instant. A detective can have pictures of all the criminals to show witnesses in a flash, while memories are still vivid. But there is one problem that stands in the way of having an effective system. The problem is immense. Giving instant access to these millions of pictures to police forces across the country is one thing, but finding that one picture in a million that a witness might recognize is something else again. Would you sit for hours and look at random faces that um, most people don't spend much time looking through mug books? It does, just doesn't work that way. People get frustrated after maybe 10 or 15 minutes. Don Shaminsky thinks her company has an answer. Okay, Identification Solutions of Ottawa has come up with a sort of library index system based on the witness's description of the criminal. It includes the kinds of things police already record when they book a suspect. Sex, eye color, hair color, and so on. When used with the laser discs, it shrinks the number of pictures from thousands to the few most likely. And while the RCMP is careful not to endorse any particular company, they agree that a searching system based on the witness description is the next logical step. After all, the National Mugshot Collection gets 900 new entries every day. When I see the, the potential of this kind of a system, the things that it will do for me as a manager and also do for the law enforcement community, I get pretty excited about it. For Newsday, I'm David Mowbray.